In this video, I'll walk through two examples of factoring trinomials when the leading coefficient is 1. That is, this number being multiplied by the first term is just 1. And we know that if we do not see a number, it's implied that it's just 1. 1 times x squared is the same as x squared. Okay, this first example is x squared plus 7x minus 18. Well, the pattern that the trinomial is going to factor into is going to look like this. And we're going to put the, the letters, the variables, of that first term. And the reason is because factoring is the reverse of distribution, or the reverse of multiplication. So x times x gives us our x squared. And then we would go on to multiply using FOIL, x times the last term, and then whatever is in this spot times this x, and then this spot times the last spot, so first outer, inner, last. Now, what, what, what can we put in these, these spaces so that when we multiply this back out, we would get to, to this trinomial? Well, there's a little trick here. Look at this last term. It's negative 18, and you want two numbers such that the product... equals negative 18, negative 18, because it's negative there. And you want those same two numbers to have a sum equal to positive 7. So what two numbers could you multiply to get negative 18? Well, certainly 2 and negative 9, but if you added those, you would get negative 7. So we are not going to use those, but Let's look at the other example of 9 and negative 2. Well, that works, or negative 2 and 9. You could have listed the negative 2 first. But if you add those together, you do get a positive 7. So that when you uh, multiply this all out, it works. Okay, and, and let me show you what I mean. Let's put these numbers in here. The 9 and the, and the negative 2. x plus 9 times x plus plus negative 2, or x minus 2. Now, if we were to multiply this, you'd get x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Keeping a little log here, you'd have negative 2x. And then 9 times x is plus 9x. So there's that middle term. And then 9 times negative 2 would give you negative 18, which is what we want out there. Negative 2x plus 9x gives us our 7x. So this all works. Right? And we started with the x times x is x squared. So we look for two numbers whose product is this last term and whose sum is the coefficient of the middle term. Next example. x squared plus 17xy plus 70y squared. Okay, now I'm going to draw the structure like this. And we do know something about these other terms. We know that there's going to be a y attached to them. And the reason is because uh, y times y is y squared. We're going to have some coefficients being multiplied, but in the end we have a y squared attached to that last term. And we also have xy. Notice that if we multiply x times x, we get x squared. x times y, or some, something multiplied by y, gives us something xy. And that's why we have an xy uh, term in the middle. Now, after you have that skeleton laid down, the process is the same. We need two numbers whose, whose product is 70. So I'll write that here. The product equals positive 70 and whose sum equals 17. And by the way, you might like to write the product over here and the sum over here. That's fine. That's fine. It's just as long as you know that you're, you're looking here for these numbers. Two numbers that, that multiply together to give you 70. Well, let's just jump right to it. It's 7 and 10. If you add those together, you get positive 17. So those are the two numbers that you will plug in right here. So they're both positive. So we have x plus 7y multiplied by the quantity x plus 10y. And again, if you were to multiply those out, 
you would find that you would get back to this original trinomial 